Hello everyone, this is your daily reading. This is Horoscope Astrology Based Tarot. So we're gonna jump in here. You're feeling very balanced today. You are feeling good. You are feeling very much like balance is a focus of your life right now so that you can be content, so that you can feel good. We do have that you have a significant relationship around you that uh, in which a person is really struggling. There may be some depression. They, they feel as though they're underwater. And it's sort of smoky trails, you know, for you because you don't really know what's going on. You don't understand, you know, the workings of their depression or whatever. And what we see here is this communication that's happened. Um, in the recent past in which you are feeling like the relationship may not be viable, you may have to walk away. Um, it does require, I don't think the relationship is over at all, but I do think that you're gonna go through a couple of months here or a number of months where you don't speak to this person. I think that they were pretty tough on you. I think they were very questionable in the way that you were treated. Um, but I'm getting that you're moving into this incredible phase today of like, I don't give a damn, you know, I'm just me. I'm just trying to do the right thing. I want to be happy. I'm going to be happy and I'm not going to let anybody rain on my parade. You know, you're, you're in this beautiful energy collective of really starting a new chapter of your life. You're very focused on investing in yourself, in your happiness, in romance, in love, in friendship, in having enough abundance to lead the life that you want to lead, to have the quality of life that you want to have. For those of you who are looking for a new partner right now, we have Venus and Mars transiting together. Yesterday, they were perfectly aligned, and it really shows up today. You're very strong, you're very desirable, you have everything that you need. You are a person who probably over the years has had to ward off suitors as opposed to, you know, being without suitors, you know, people to date and so forth. But what we're seeing here is that you are the absolute epitome of grace, beauty, charm. You're reliable, people know they can count on you. People know that you have the best wishes for everyone at heart. I see a lot of you traveling or making plans to travel this week. I see many of you in a really new period of self-development. You're taking a risk. You're taking a leap to increase your abundance, but you're doing it in a very holistic way. You're doing it in a way that feels very organically good to you. You're eating better, you're keeping your routine, you're exercising, and if you haven't started, today is a great kickoff day for you. You're not going to let anything get under your skin or unravel you. You're taking the energy level of a child, really just saying, you know what, I'm gonna get up today and I'm going to be happy and you are highly coveted in groups right now. People would love to have you show up at a party because your, your grace, your dignity, your beauty, your kind, you know, whatever you're doing in your creative life right now, it has a strong possibility of bringing you a lot of increased abundance, abundance of happiness, stability, wealth, joy. It can even increase the level and the number of your friends and the quality of the people that you are hanging out with. You know, when we look at the advice of how you should handle uh, this sort of the person in your life that's underwater, that's struggling, is basically wish upon a star, send them good, good vibes through the universe. You don't have to talk to them. Say a little prayer for them, you know, hold them in their heart, in your heart for, you know, a minute to three minutes and just meditate upon them about their well-being and then release it to the universe. When we are looking at your money and your laws of attraction, the money of your partner, if you have one, is just absolutely banging. It's really good. But you, you know, you are in this beautiful energy of enhancing your joyfulness. The way you make money is could be brand new, starting a new creative endeavor, which is going to take you possibly through the rest of your life in a very fulfilling and happy, happy way. 
when we look at the energy that speaks to the rough communication, the advice from your ancestors is to really just follow the voice of your soul. You know, don't take it personally. Really, the soul doesn't take anything personally. The soul just says that this is a day in the week of a of a many, many years of my lifetime, and I'm not going to let this eat away at me. When we look at your uh, the energy around your family, your friends, your career, we just see you in this very beautiful energy of um, the wolf spirit. We see that even in your work life, you know, you are striving to make your work, work life very happy and it is joyful right now. You are really building, you know, when we look at family, we're looking at the support system we have and you're walking away, you're leaving your house, you're getting out of your house. For those of you who were in pandemic mode, you are getting out and about, you're making plans this week to do that. You you really are looking for that, that sunny uh, moment and each day to have happiness and you're achieving that goal. When we look at, you know, your daily routine, many of you are just, you're just understanding that if you want to accomplish all of this to lead a really balanced life, you really need to have a good routine. You need to have something that doesn't wear you out more than, you know, it looks like about seven hours uh, in a work day, you know, a really, really successful work day with where a lot of money's come in, go up to nine hours if you want. But I'm really getting that at the end of the day, you're seeking and you're receiving a lot of love from other people. You're embodying this beautiful Venus energy. It's, you know, you're so strong. You're so balanced. People are seeking you out right now. And what's very, very important to your well-being is to stay balanced and to remember that we're all responsible for our own happiness. And you can't really, if someone chooses to be in a negative energy, there's not much you can do about it. If you stay happy, uh, you know, walking away from their negativity actually allows them to learn the lesson that that isn't really how to be happy because we model, our, we model a lot of behavior for our friends and our family. When we look at the energy around your love life, around your friendship life, we're looking at the Joan of Arc, stand strong, focus on your purpose, release the fear and speak your truth. So it really is, you know, don't let people persecute you because they're in a bad mood. Persecution is a pretty big word, but I would just say, you know, ignore them. You have to ignore when somebody's around you, eh, 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 ignore them. Don't give them a payoff. Don't allow this to be a payday. Uh, when you ignore them, you help them see the key to the door to open up to a much more graceful, leaving negativity, negativity behind and modeling your behavior of being strong. So just, you know, you don't have to buy into it. Okay, so when we look at your everyday life and your well-being, your sort of your mental health, you know, your private life, we're getting change of seasons, a beautiful change is coming about. The changes that you are making right now will extend your life, your health, your wealth, your joyfulness, your happiness. And I cannot think of a more lovely reading than the one we've had today. Thank you for your time. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Um, if you like the video, it's gonna be very important for the YouTube algorithm for you to like, get, you know, give it a thumbs up, you know, comment and definitely share and subscribe. I can't thank you enough. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.